Hello ladies and gents, in this video we will implement sorting and grouping for our product list and we will have two additional buttons in our list header the first one, this one we will use for sorting so we can sort our items by name, price or release date in an ascending or descending order as so and we can also group our items by category so we have them grouped with some group headers with titles. Now without further ado let's get started. Let's begin by creating a new fragment named sort dialog dot fragment dot XML and we will load and display this when the sort button is pressed. We begin with the fragment definition from the core library And let's add our libraries uh, namespaces. First, we need the core library, of course. SAP UI core. And we will also use the M library, which will be our default namespace from SAP.M. And as the contents of our fragment, we will use the view settings dialog. and it has an aggregation named sort items it's not the only one but since we will be using the sort functionality we will use sort items for this dialog and inside we will create some view settings item controls and this can be self-closing and they have two attributes first a text and a key attribute text will come from our i18n file and i think we already have a product name entry here so our first attribute will be the name and here i will use the same names as we use in our list binding so for product name it's name with capital n and let's add two more we also want to be able to sort by the price and it should be price with capital P also the release date and let me copy it from here okay it looks like this now we save and now let's add another button in our list header next to our add button let me duplicate this and icon will be sort this time and as the press handler let's say on sort button pressed now let's go ahead and implement this in our app controller maybe here on press cancel new product And we already have this logic for our create product uh, fragment. So I will just copy it from here. Load and display the sort dialog this time. And let's name it all sort dialog simply. Let's also replace these here and the name of our fragment is now also sort dialog now let's save and check our application and we have our new button and when we press we get this nice view settings dialog here but of course there is no logic behind it so it's not doing any actual sorting now let's go ahead and do that as well for that we will use an event for our view settings dialog which is named confirm and let's give it a name on confirm sort is the event handler and let's also implement that and we will need the event object here because we need to know which item has been selected well, let's begin with some comments get sort related event objects or parameters and let's first get the selected sort item 
So all sort item equals all event that get parameter and the parameter name is just sort item and we have another one which is named sort descending which simply says if descending is selected or not and let's name this b descending since it will be a boolean and now we say if there is a sort item selected sort the list binding and how we sort a binding is first we simply get the binding first we access our list so this dot get view by id and let's copy the id of our list id product list and we say dot get binding and the binding we would like to access is items because that's the one we are using and that's the one we want to sort and then we simply say dot sort and here first we need to check if we actually have a sort item selected so let's create a turner expression here if there is a sort item selected we will pass an array in either way if there is no item we will just pass in an empty array and if there is a sort item we will send a new sorter object here and let's also import that maybe after the fragment here it will come from sap ui model library like so and edit here and the sorter object has two parameters first one will be the name or key that we want to sort by and it will come from the key attribute of our view settings item so we can simply say all sort item that get key and next is a boolean if it's descending or not so we can just simply pass in our b descending boolean here and we save go back to our app see if it works let's sort descending by price for example okay didn't work let's check get view by id is not a function let's see it should be a function it's named by id not by okay we try again descending by price is working let's try another ascending by product name for example also seems to be working now let's go ahead and implement grouping as well and for that we will create a new fragment actually we can copy the sort dialog so let me copy and paste it here and rename no not delete rename name it to group dialog and this time instead of sort items we will use group items and we will have only one which is category because only that makes sense to be honest for grouping so let's remove the other two and this will be category and the key should also be category with capital C exactly let's copy that as well and let's change this to on confirm group but before we implement that let's add another button to our list header let's duplicate this one and we will use group dash two icon and then we say on group button pressed and we can again save this and 
copy this right here. Rename it. Rename it to group. Also, all these should be a group now. Let's save and check if all is good for now. Okay, we have a new dialog for grouping and we only have category as group by. Now let's go ahead and implement the actual grouping. By the way, I believe I removed some code by mistake because I'm seeing some empty dimensions here. Let's quickly fix that. Yes, the visible attribute is missing. So let's add that as well. We said visible equals, and we used expression binding here. We said if there's a product width and height and depth get rid of this and we added exclamation marks to convert these into booleans okay we are back to normal and before we actually implement grouping Finally, I want to get rid of these category keys and display some text instead. And for that, we will create another formatter. So let's go to our model folder and formatter.js. And in here, let's create a new formatter function named format category, which will take a string value, which will be the key of the category. And here let's just use a switch case statement. And the category key zero was I think the uh, food. So let's return a string foods. And since we are returning something, we don't need the break statement. And the rest we have beverages and electronics, one for beverages and two for electronics, I believe. And default we can just return unknown if we get something unexpected. Let's save and let's utilize this now. There is our category here. Let me break this into multiple lines. And for text, let's use the object notation. So this is the path. And as our formatter, we say dot formatter dot format category. We need a comma here. Let's save check okay categories look better now now let's go ahead and implement our sort functionality sorry group functionality and let me copy the name of our event handler and confirm group and let's again copy the event handler for confirm sort and rename and here we get group related event parameters so we have the group item which is named group item and b descending will come from group descending this time and next what we will do is if there is a grouping item selected group the list binding else group by an empty array to remove any existing grouping 
Now let's do uh, something very similar. We are going to again use the sort functionality, but what we are going to do this time is for our sorter object here, we will simply pass in another argument here, which is for grouping and we set it to true, which is false by default. So here let's say v group, that's what it's called. And that's it actually, we just need to rename this to group item and we should be good to go. Let's check if you want to group by category ascendingly, we get it for foods here, beverages here and electronics, two of each. But now again for our group item we see uh, keys instead of text, so let's go ahead and also fix that. First let's go back to our formatter and create another formatter function here for our groups. Let me copy this and let's say format group header and we can use most of these but instead of uh, simple strings we need to return a group header list item control so return new group header list item and let's import it from the mobile library so I say pm group header list item add it to our callback function here and this will take in a title attribute let's add it here title will be food So let's also convert the other two into group header items like so, also these. Okay, now how we use this formatter is actually in the binding of our list. So we go back to our list binding items here, we also convert this into an object notation and we say path is product items, then we pass in another argument named group header factory and here we simply pass in our new formatter, so it's dot formatter dot format group header. And now if we save and go back, try to group again, now we get unknown for everything, let's see what could be wrong. Let's see what we are getting for our formatter here, so sources formatter here let's try to group again this value is an object this time I think that should be the issue which makes sense because what we get here for our formatter is no longer a simple string but it's a grouping object so we say a whole group which has a key and that's what we should check so we say all group dot key we save and close this and try again by category now we have the correct titles let's try descending also works and if we select not grouped then the grouping is gone let's quickly also check sorting if it still works works by price descending by release date 3815 and 234 2021 and 2022 so looks like it also works and now that would be all for this video and hope to see you in the next one